What's up, everybody? This Monday has been completely shot to hell already. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. Had to leave work because I, if I stand up for too long, I start getting dizzy, disoriented, sometimes even a little bit of vertigo. You know, I can be standing completely still, and suddenly for a split second I'll feel like I'm on a roller coaster or something. I don't know what it is, but I imagine it's probably related to this June bug, as I've been calling it. So I have an appointment to see the doctor later today to find out what the heck this is going on. I mean, this thing messed me up at work last week. It wrecked my weekend, and now I think I'd better do something about this before another week goes to the dogs. Anyways, even though this Monday has been shot completely to hell, let's see if I can still salvage it a bit by doing something here. So earlier on, I got this video response from EasyTech.org. Don't know if there's any relation to the Staples EasyTechs or anything, but anywho, talking about how I should put Windows 8 on the Dell Asaurus by using a plug-in drive, installing it to the plug-in drive on a computer that takes Windows 8, and then just swapping the drive back into the system. See, the reason why I didn't do that is because I don't want to go to all that trouble. Windows 8 hasn't really impressed me all that much, such that I'd want to uh, go to all the trouble to do that kind of a workaround. So I figured, nah, plus is that whole hardware tracking thing to prevent piracy and stuff like that. Every version of Windows since XP throws a fit if you change too much hardware. So you know, even though it's a even though it's a release preview, I don't really want to uh, go mess around with authentication and stuff because I tried to use a workaround to get it working on a really old computer. But never fear, because as it goes in the world of geekdom, when all else fails. Install Linux. I have Lubuntu 1204, an alternate install for computers with low RAM. And I actually installed this OS on the Delosaurus over the weekend so that it can actually have something newer than Windows 2000 on it. Okay, so here we go with the rickety setup again. I'm not going to turn on a lot of lights this time because we don't really need it to view this computer screen. It looks kind of dark and mysterious in here, doesn't it? Delosaurus, go. Of course, I've been using the netbook as an uplink to the internet by bridging the wired and wireless connections there. And if the glare from the morning sun doesn't screw everything up, as soon as the tube monitor gets going here, howdy, folks. <laughs> Though I probably look like some kind of shadow. Here's what threw me after I finished installing Lubuntu. This is actually a glitch because it's some probably some graphical compatibility issues with the built-in graphics chip on this thing. So it looks like a virus from the 1990s, but if you actually let it sit for a while, it actually does get normal again after the OS stops booting, or yeah, gets further along in the boot cycle. So, okay, so we got that weird screen. This thing's making some weird noise, but at least the hard drive's still doing something. There we go. See, I told you it would get back to normal. So here we are, if it ever focuses. The install had some really bad flicker vision going on. See, so log on, you got Delosaurus, pretty decent Linux layout here. Let me enter my password here. There's no startup sounds or anything I already checked. And there it goes. You can probably hear the hard drive going in the background. Pretty basic desktop here. Not been a pretty basic Linux installation as well. It's based on Ubuntu. It's uh, Lubuntu is kind of like the most lightweight Ubuntu out there. Uh, how many versions of Ubuntu have there been? There was Ubuntu, Kubuntu that used KDE. I don't have the uh, the netbook on, so there's no internet connection. It had uh, there's Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Xubuntu, which was for more lightweight, and now Lubuntu, which is even more lightweight. But you got your basic uh, your basic OS here. You got an open source version of Google Chrome, which is Chromium. Yeah, we got some basic stuff here, but the thing is, it's a decent operating system, it's not outdated, it'll actually still receive updates and stuff like that, and what the heck, it even has Solitaire. <laughs> nice. It's a bit clunkier than the Windows versions though, but it's, it's still playable. Or maybe I'm just too used to Windows, or maybe I'm just bad at Solitaire. <laughs> so, let's close that out here. Nice uh, lightweight, nice lightweight GUI and stuff like that, and not bad for a system that's 12 years old. Chromium, what do you have? Chromium web browser, Pigeon Instant Messenger, Silph Seed, Transmission, Office. There's even a generic. Let's take a look at this Office thing that's on here. I wonder if I can get like LibreOffice for Linux or something like that installed on here. 
Unfortunately, though, one of the problems with this being an old, this being a Linux OS, is that I don't, I don't really know how I can get something like Nova Bench working on here. Maybe if I use like, I wonder if Wine would work on something like this. Put some kind of uh, thingy on here that lets you run Windows executables. And uh, okay, so we got your basic um, MS Office clone here, but though everything's very clunky. The the speed of the computer is already becoming a factor here. Oh yeah, let's try typing something. H. I typed an H, and I still uh, click. Hello, is he gonna type? H. E, uh, it's been a little, little bit of lag there. Oh yeah, this is like typing on an Apple IIe with uh, lag problems. <laughs> oh, this poor computer. So even this lightweight ver distribution of Linux is a little clunky. Either that or this application is a little uh, too heavyweight for this old machine. I imagine I could probably run command lines and terminals. Okay, let's try the calculator thingy. Ooh, calculator. Okay, this one's working okay without any lag. Not a bad deal. I don't think this is. The, I don't think this uh, computer will do very much with multimedia, though. It was never a very multimedia type machine back in the day. Penguin Golf. Oh, it's a card game. Hmm. How come I'm not surprised? Preferences. What does this thing have for screensavers? Yeah, like anybody uses screensavers anymore. Uh, only one screensaver. Oh, that's cute. Little fiber optic thingy. We got a fire. What's this? Fireworks? Oh, that one won't work. Very few or no screensavers. Oh, there are packages we have to download from the internet to install them. So uh, let's get that fiber thing back up here. Fiber lamp. Let's see what this. See how this thing handles a screen. Oh yeah, look at that. Jerky, super jerky. This thing, of course, was never very good at. Uh, then there used to be like toys that did that back in the eighties, <laughs> but. Oh yeah, super jerky. This computer was never a multimedia type machine. It was a cheap computer back in 2000, and it totally shows. Okay, uh, how do we get out of this? Oh, you actually have to click? <laughs> oh, brother. Let's turn off the screensaver and just have it blank the screen. Who uses screensavers anymore? I mean, you should just use the power saving on your monitor. Hokey dokey. So, document viewer, paint. Let me guess, uh, Penguin Taipei. Oh, that's more of a Mahjong type game or something. I don't have any clue how to play these tile games, so we'll skip that. So nothing like Tux Racer or anything. Huh? I remember seeing that Tux Racer game where the Linux Penguin like slid down a hill or something. It's like a cross. It was like a Linux version of a snowboarding game. I don't know, but here's the kicker. Here, if we go to see, the, much like Windows 8, this machine does have a logout command. However, when you click that, it actually lets you shut the machine down without having to log off first. So let's do that. Another 90s virus type screen and the machine turns off. Fun stuff. The only thing is, uh, other than experimenting with Linux, I can't really figure out what the heck I want to do with this thing. Anybody have any suggestions what I should do with this thing? One thing I'd like to do is I'd love to get Nova Bench working because I'll bet I'll bet this would be the worst computer that had ever been tested on Nova Bench. So, or maybe I should put Windows 2000 back on it just to test Nova Bench. That'd be pretty interesting. Maybe I'll do that. I, I don't know, but um, or I could try Wine if it works on this type of Linux or something like that. But point being, I want to get Nova Bench working in some way, shape, or form. That'd be hilarious if I could run this thing through Nova Bench and have it actually succeed and put up like a super low score. So, the Delosaurus does, um, so the Delosaurus avoids the trash pile yet again, but I'm kind of stumped as to what I want to do, um, what I want to do with the Linux install on this thing. So if anyone has any ideas, post a comment. Um, in the meantime, it works. I can give it that much credit. All right, I'm gonna head back upstairs and, um, wait for my fate to be decided at the doctor's office this afternoon. <laughs> so, till next time, this is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope your Monday is going better than mine.